Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hand. And today we are going to be reviewing the Venma, Weinma, yeah, the new premium tier 6 German. And um, this is going to be more of a cautionary tip. Um, not, <laughs> I'm not... Uh, disrespecting any of my fellow CCs at all. But there's a lot of people that said, like, this ship's OP. You need to buy this ship. Um, no, you don't. Air on the side of caution. Uh, sorry for the clickbaity title. Um, but yes, the Vinmar is an incredibly powerful ship. But if you pay attention to... Uh, you, you've got to know that basically everyone that's a CC is generally a pretty good player. Um, some of them are incredibly good, uh, such as uh, such as Chile. Um, uh, Chile game seventeen. He's an absolutely uh, amazing player, uh, definitely in the the top one percent of players in this game. And I personally have also been having some really really good games in the uh, in the the Venma. But you've got to pay attention to how the ship's played. And honestly, like knowing your position, um, your positioning is absolutely key. Uh, it doesn't matter how much damage you can put out if you get absolutely nailed. Um, but like I said, I've had a lot of good games. This is a good game, um, but it also sort of highlights how important uh, your positioning is. So I have actually gone with Graf Spee as uh, the Zuling Graf Spee commander. Uh, for my build, which is why you can hear the, uh, the, uh, the the Japanese anime voice in the background because I, I forgot to turn the anime voices off. Uh, and uh, we're going to start. We, uh, we are playing very aggressive, but hey, that's me. That's my style. I am very aggressive. Uh, we can see this mass. I assume it's the mass yet yeah, pushing in. And he is going to spot us. So we didn't really want to fire. Because there is a, a Nagato uh, further out there, past B, you can uh, you can see it in the background there. But uh, we're trying to deal with uh, with what can spot us. Uh, the Nagato is not paying attention, so we are going to uh, start uh, start taking some pot shots at him. But you will, uh, and this is this is another thing with any new ship, especially one that everyone is shouting is OP you are going to get focused fired an awful lot as you can see there we're already getting shot at we've taken a fire and in classic high fashion of course of course i hit an island uh, but there's a reason why i hit an island it's because i'm trying to turn to uh, to get the hell out of you uh, some torpedoes there coming in from the uh, from the mass although i don't think they were necessarily directed at us you know uh, luckily Nagato has some terrible aim, uh, so, and here, look, another a second mistake, I'm not going to say I, I didn't mess up, but I, uh, I cut that turn uh, a little bit too tight, but what I want to do, basically, I just want to, I just want to get away from the Nagato, and uh, new ship, obviously I'm not overly familiar with it, so, uh, yeah, we, uh, we miss, uh, we miss a couple of our shots there. Because, uh, because, well, of course, everyone misses shots. As you can see, there is a, an awful lot of fire coming into us. Um, but I'm hugging this island really close. I'm trying to limit what can shoot at me. Uh, well, not so much what can shoot at me, what can hit me. Uh, we switch to armor piercing for the shores because uh, we can see he's sitting flat broadside to us. Unfortunately, we can't necessarily aim for the citadel. Um, because, well, at the moment we can't really see it, but uh, let me go we score in the, uh, a juicy Citadel hit, and yeah, like the damage I put on this ship, rightly pointed out by everyone else, is absolutely insane. <clears throat> As you see, we're gonna, we're gonna do some damage to, uh, to this, uh, Tennessee, and you can see there's just there's just shells splashing around me constantly because people know the ship is dangerous. So you're going to be focused, which is why 
um, you know, having situational awareness and good positioning is key. You know, you, if you're good and you pay attention to uh, to the map and know what can shoot at you, know what can't shoot at you, and uh, put yourself in in the correct positions, this thing is an absolute beast. But you are just going to get focused to help and. Uh, you're gonna spend uh, you're gonna spend a lot of time waiting for the ship back in port uh, if, uh, if if you don't play it uh, if you don't play it correctly. So uh, as you can see, our salvos against this Tennessee. We're only using our front two turrets, and uh, yeah, we're doing significant damage every four seconds. Uh, luckily for me, uh, that Tennessee decided to. Uh, shoot us with uh, with high explosive not armor piercing he could have uh, absolutely devastated us we're going to take a blind shot at that mom hat because well hey you never know uh we did just get hit by radar but that ran out really quickly so i'm assuming we're on the edge of uh, and it's probably that atlanta uh, if you notice we had we had a lot of shells being fired at us so there's a very good chance uh, it was that Atlanta. So we're going to try and focus uh, on this uh, on this Ismail a bit. We know that Monahan is spotting us, uh, but as long as we can keep our position in white, keep the island between ourselves and uh, and the Ismail, we shouldn't have uh, too much to worry about. But that Ismail very easily, very very easily, uh, could completely one shot us. So yeah. All right, okay. I'm not. Uh, I'm not getting shots off this island. Uh, what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to move. Trying to stay undetected. Uh, trying to get undetected, and uh, and stay out of that. Uh, that is mill sights. At least for now. At least until we know he's low enough health that I can just finish him off. And that Monahan, um, being a white pain over there, it's it's surrounded by two DDs and a battleship, and uh, and he's just over there spotting us. So uh, we're going to do our best to try and assist them in, uh, in getting rid of them. But the shells are quite floaty, so long range DD shots are actually quite hard to pull off. Uh, although we do manage to clip him there when we uh, correctly estimate his, uh, his, his change in direction. Uh, although it done no damage, which is uh, a bit of a shame, but never mind. So we're going to push out on the Ismail. Uh, but paying attention, his guns are not pointing at us. He's more concerned about the, about the DD. He's going to take a bunch of torps, which, to be honest with you, potentially could have saved our lives. This pushing this Ismail was was a dangerous move, like a really dangerous move. And uh, we're going to use all of our torpedoes just in case. But yeah, he's uh, he's just going to burn down, and uh, he's dead. He's gone. Uh, finally, they take care of them on hand, and uh, we can we can move on with our lives. So, eighty-five thousand damage so far, fairly respectable. A good trade on hit points, considering we've only lost what's that like thirteen thousand. And there's a full health Rin Vinmar on the enemy team, um, as well as a full health Atlanta, and they've still got DDs, two DDs left. Obviously, we do have uh, we do have uh, the advantage uh, here, uh, and again, uh, careful positioning. I'm using all of the island cover that's available to me. Uh, Finn Mars uh, exposed. He's out in the open. He's broadside enough that I'm happy to switch to arm piercing. Although the HE does do some uh, some pretty good damage, and as you can see. Yeah, the shells are quite floaty. Not as floaty as something like the Atlanta. Um, but, and, yeah, there's something else I want to point out. It's like everyone's mentioned it's, it's, it's damage per minute. If you put any ship in the, in the right position, it's damage per minute. It can be absolutely insane. Uh, but the Fiji, for example, a tier 6, very similar. Incredibly lightly armoured ship. Very easily... Uh, can get dev struck, can get citadel to the nose by by pretty much anything. But you put it in the right position, and it can uh, it can put out uh, an absolutely insane amount of damage. Um, 
so essentially, I guess as we're as we're coming to a close on this game, essentially what I'm saying is this ship it isn't overpowered. It's an absolute glass cannon, and uh, if you're not prepared, uh, you are going to end up uh, you're going to end up having some really bad games. Like the good games, the good games will be great, and we get our gun knocked out by the Atlanta. The good games will be really good, but the bad games. The bad games will be awful. You will get dead struck. You will get <laughs> deleted a lot, uh, I feel, in this ship. Uh, this, this this poor Atlanta. Just not got a chance. He's doing his best. He's going to turn. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to uh, fire his torpedoes off the other side in a, in a desperate attempt to, uh, to finish me off. We fire up the Hydro. Uh, we do have extended hydro, so of course that means uh, we get to see the mass as we score a confederate um, torpedoes from the mass. But of course, this ridiculously powerful sonar is uh, is going to let us easily uh, easily avoid them. And come on, finish him, get him, get him. Ah, uh, there we go, and we pick up the final kill and uh, I get the win. So yeah, we finished that match up on uh, 142,000, credits. That's with no credit boosters on there. And uh, just over, or just under 3,200 base HP. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed my Vinmo guide. And of course, until next time, take care.